Hey guys, what's up? It's AlphaCritics from AlphaCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get tvOS 15 Beta 1 on your Apple TV. So this is a very simple tutorial, and as long as you follow all the steps, you'll be able to get this on your Apple TV. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this video started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go into Settings, Now once you go into settings, I'm going to scroll all the way down to where it says system and then I'm going to go to software updates and you're going to see that my Apple TV is running on tvOS 14. As you can see, it says tvOS 14 in the bottom left there. Uh, so that confirms that I'm not already on tvOS 15 or anything like that. Now, in order for this to work, you need an Apple developer account. You also do need the Xcode and the configurator app, as well as the latest Mac OS uh, for this to work. Uh, so now once you've done that, we can go on to the next step. So once we're on the Apple developer uh, website and we've logged in, you're gonna see that it will say beta software downloads. It will say operating systems. So what you're gonna do is just scroll all the way down. Now once you scroll all the way down, it will say tvOS 15 beta. Uh, so we're gonna do is just go ahead and take a look at it and make sure everything is right with it. And then you're gonna choose install profile. And then that is all you have to do. So just make sure it says tvOS 15 beta and then you press on install profile. Now after that, you're gonna go all the way back up to the top and press on applications. And then what we're going to do is look for the Xcode 13 beta and you're just going to go ahead and choose that and then press download. And then you're going to go into the Mac App Store and search for Apple Configurator 2 and you're just going to go ahead and download and install it. Now just going back to the tvOS 15 beta, it works for the Apple TV 4K and also the Apple TV HD, uh, so either or. Uh, the Apple TV 4K works for the most recent 4K one and the one before that as well, as well as the Apple TV HD is technically the fourth generation Apple TV and it still does work for that if the tvOS 14 worked for that particular model. Now what you're going to do is go into your Apple TV and you're going to make sure it's on the same Wi-Fi network as your Mac. This is very crucial in order for this tutorial to work. So once again, you're going to make sure that your Apple TV is on the same Wi-Fi as your Mac. So now once you've done that, what we're going to do is go ahead and open up Xcode. So currently it is opening up the Xcode 13 beta. Now once you go into Xcode, once you download and open it, what you're going to do is just simply go all the way to the top. And then once you're at the top of Xcode, it will say window. So then once you tap on window, you're going to go to devices and simulators. And then under devices and simulators, you should see your Apple TV. Now, if you don't see your Apple TV, what you're going to do is try a different method. So now the alternative way of connecting is actually going into iTunes uh, and then getting ready to play a song, then tapping on this AirPlay button, uh, which has the triangle at the bottom. And then once you do that, you're gonna recognize that your Apple TV will be right there. So now what you're gonna do is just simply connect to your Apple TV and start playing the song. And then you're gonna connect your Apple TV by entering the AirPlay code on your Apple TV. So now you can see there's a code right on the Apple TV right now. Now you should see the song playing on your Apple TV now. And now you're going to go into settings on your Apple TV. And then you're going to go into remote and devices. And then you're going to go into where it says remote app and devices. Press on it, and they're going to look for your computer. Uh, so in my case, my MacBook Pro, and you can see that it is connected to the Apple TV now, which is what you want. Now, if it's not there, do as it suggests. So just to pair a device, hold it close to the Apple TV, and then it'll go ahead and be connected. So now what we can do is open up the Apple Configurator 2 app. Uh, so you can just go ahead and press on Open. So now once you open up the Apple Configurator app, you're going to want to open up Xcode at the same time. And then it's going to recognize your Apple TV right here. So let's say Apple TV and then pair. And then uh, just once again, in Xcode, what you have to do is just go to Window 
and then you gotta go to devices and simulators and then this section will pop up and you'll see this is uh, what Xcode will show. Uh, so we can just go ahead and press on pair and then it will say enter verification code displayed on Apple TV. So if you look on the Apple TV, this is the code that I have to type in. Now it's setting up the Apple TV. So now you can see it's showing important information about the Apple TV since it is paired. So it's showing the TVOS, the model, the capacity, the serial number, and then the identifier of it. And then this is what it will look like. So you have all this other information right here. So now there's some more information directly below it about the installed apps. So now what we can do is go into the Apple Configurator app. So now once you're in Apple Configurator, you can see that it now recognizes the Apple TV. So you can see it says Apple TV and it's loading. So that is directly after you recognize it in Xcode. So there we have the Apple TV right here. And now there is one notification. So now once you go to the profiles on the side, you're gonna make sure you remove any of your old profiles. Uh, so for example, I have the old tvOS 14 beta uh, from last year, uh, so I recommend going ahead and deleting that old profile and then installing the new tvOS 15 beta one profile. So now what you're gonna do is just simply add the new profile. So profiles. And then this right here is a new tvOS 15 beta profile. So you're gonna press add. And then you'll press accept. Now in order to remove the profile, you'll have to go into settings. And then general. And then scroll. And then you're going to scroll all the way down until you see profile. And then you're going to go to the old tvOS 14 beta profile. And they're going to remove this old profile. And then you're going to go ahead and press remove profile. And then you're going to press restart. And now you can see that it rebooted. And now once the profile is removed, you can go to profiles. And then it'll say that we have no profiles installed. Uh, so this is what it should look like. It should say no profiles installed once you go to profiles on the left of the Apple Configurator app. And then we go ahead and press add. So, so we just press add right here and then profiles. And then we go ahead and find the tvOS 15 beta profile and then we go ahead and press add. This is from the Apple developer account. And now it says adding profiles on Apple TV and waiting for the device. And now we're going to go ahead and press accept. And now it will say to look at the Apple TV. And now when we're on the Apple TV, it says who the uh, Apple Care profiles and then it tells you that the profile is signed and verified. You get the description and we can go ahead and press on install. So we can take a look at some more details and it says uh, the Apple Care profile signing certificate and some more uh, internal settings about it. And now we can go ahead and press on install. And now we can go ahead and press next and install profile. And now it's installed, so you have to restart. So now it's in the process of restarting. So now once it restarts, you can go into the settings and then scroll all the way down. And then if you want to scroll all the way down to system and then to software updates and then press update software. And now we have the chance to update to uh, TVOS 15. Uh, so it's the build number is 19J5268R. Uh, so we can download and install it. And it says it may take some time to complete. Uh, so just go ahead and press download and install. So we'll let it work its magic. So now it says about six minutes remaining. So now there is one minute remaining in the software update. So now it says step one of step two, preparing update. 
and do not unplug your Apple TV when it's updating. So now to step one of step two, preparing the update. So it says step one of step two, preparing the update. So now you can see that it's restarting and it showed the Apple logo. And now it's moving on to the installation process. And now you can see it's nearing the end of the installation. And now we can go into settings. And then we can go into system. Software updates. And now if we take a look, you can see that we're on tvOS 15. So you can see it's just that simple. Uh, so you can see it did work uh, and it was relatively easy uh, to do the install. So that's all you have to do. So now we're officially on tvOS 15. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button. Be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel and leave a comment down below. And also be sure to follow me on social media. My username is AppleCritics. And be sure to subscribe for more great content. Thanks for watching.